So we're gonna work on abstract painting. I'm so excited. I know it can be really intimidating, um, but I wanted to show you some examples. So this is a Paul Klee painting. These are two Paul Klees. And these are honestly just kid paintings I found on Pinterest that show you being inspired by abstract art does not have to be terrifying. So these are Paul Klee and then the amazing artwork that was made um, in response to his work. It's just so beautiful. Um, same with Kandinsky. This is a Kandinsky painting. And these are a few artworks I found inspired by that. So, I mean, it's really, it's challenging. And this leg art, like this, look, it's beautiful still, um, profile. And then look in, in response what these kids did. Like, they're just beautiful artworks. I can't even believe it. So, um, not that that's really abstract, I get it, but I just wanted to prove that I know it's intimidating and I, and I get it, but it, it's really doesn't have to be. So these are a few types of paintings, constructivists. Um, so this is when you use really straight edges, um, bold colors, like aggressive kind of forms and layering. Um, this is one style you could approach. So I'm sorry, I'm going to have a bunch of styles that you can consider for your abstract painting. Um, so that's one style you could try. It. You could do a color field painting um like Rothko which is really awesome and and you could um it's really going deep on color either usually pretty similar colors and similar values or distinct um and, and separate and, and contrasty so that could be really cool all these Rothkos could be your inspiration um you could be inspired by Mondrian um I am going to bring like things in like I said nuts and bolts and props that could inspire you or you could just do completely from your head um, and Helen Frankenthaler, which obviously involves a lot of water, um, a really watered down pigment, but that's also really beautiful. Um, so these are all just for what, consider what you might want to do. A cubist painting, a la Picasso. Um, and I could help you, this is actually just kind of break it down into geometric shapes. And you're using value to like do the shapes more than you are to like create a form. And you want to kind of flatten the entire plate and there's no depth. So that's kind of how we play with that. Um, and then we could do, you could also do um, like Lager, who I showed you the, prof the profile of earlier. Um, and those are similar. Again, the very, notice the flatten, there's not a lot of depth. A really cool use of color. You could kind of steal any of that use of color. Prime, a lot of primary colors and bold. Um, straight up abstract expressionism is an option like Franz Klein, um, I love abstract art and I struggle to make it, but I just love looking at it. That involves the color, look at the motion, the energy, the, 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 um, the, the direction of your mark making. Um, Alma Thomas, everyone knows is my favorite, I love her. You could try to do an Alma Thomas, that's about the mark making and the colors, how the colors work next to each other. Um, Robert Motherwell, love. Um, that's really about like the tension between these shapes and like the sense they're pressing, they're pressing together. The mark making is like the energy between them, um, which would be really cool to work on. Obviously Jackson Pollock would be fun. It's a little hard because we can't be that messy, but you could take inspiration. Um, look at that, you know, green on the orange and just how the colors, the layers. Abstract's often about like layering your imagery and your colors. Um, Bryce Martin might be a, kind of a different take on that. Um, you kind of, that has to do with what the background color is and then the lines on top. Again, it's all about color interaction. Um, these are beautiful. Um, and these are just some contemporary abstract painters that might inspire you. Um, Atal Adnan, who recently passed away, an amazing um, painter, uh, does all these like abstracted landscapes. If you wanted to like abstract a landscape you've already done, that would be really interesting or abstract a profile that you've, or painting you've already done would be cool. Stanley Whitney is amazing. Um, color interaction, uh, you know, the energy between these shapes is what he's working on here. Palette's amazing. Howard Hodgkin, just like a really thick application, maybe using a scalpel instead of a brush. This is all about the color interplay and the layers again. Um, and uh, Matt Connors, he's up in the biennial right now. Just amazing, amazing layers, colors, again, the interplay between all these shapes. Um, that would be really fun. I can imagine some of you doing amazing things. Trudy Benson, um, again, I mean, over and over. It's just, it's just how these shapes and, and colors play, which kind of is fun because we're kind of returning to the first class to get back to the basics of um, 
what painting is all about. And Huang Yuzing, um, who's a Chinese artist, is I love these. I think they're so crazy and cool. Not officially, maybe abstract could the landscape one, but anyway. So do not be intimidated. And I know some of you maybe want to finish up other paintings, and that's fine too. But we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.